I just went to this jaw doctor. I can't close this eye. I just went to the jaw doctor, and this part of my face is numb. <laughs> okay, so what's going on here? Um, she went to the jaw doctor, uh, assuming dentist or oral surgeon, somebody like that. Um, so she likely had an injection um, to get the lower jaw numb. And when we do that, we're aiming for this little spot here, which is the lingulas. That's where the nerve is. So you can't see it. So the needle kind of goes in like this, and then you inject your fluid supposedly in this area, and that gets your jaw numb on that side, your teeth, gums, and so forth. And even there's a branch on there that can get the side of your tongue numb, uh, and that's how we do a crown filling or tooth extraction on that side. Um, what happens if you miss the mandible completely? So you inject in here, and you can't tell where you are, or you just don't feel the bone with the needle. So you inject way back here posteriorly. Um, that's where you can get the local anesthetic into the parotid gland area, into the facial nerve. And that's what's happened here more than likely. So local anesthetic got into where the facial nerve is, and now she's got a palsy. So she can't close her left eye. You can see it's tearing up. Um, and that's an issue if that lasts a while. So you got to keep the eye moist, patch it, um, lacquer lube, um, artificial tears, things like that. Um, she can't really move the muscles on the left side of her face. So again, she's got a palsy of that facial nerve. This can happen pretty instantaneously with the local. Sometimes it can happen delayed like that night or the next day. And if it happens delayed, sometimes that can last even longer. So it's really important to keep that eye closed um, and lubricated as much as possible. But good news is this is totally reversible. Um, although it looks like a stroke, it's not.